Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and tonight we are going to make a Christmas card. Now I know you might be thinking it's only October and if you're like me, it probably drives you crazy when you see that the fall is here and it's beautiful and you love fall decorations and people are already putting out Christmas um, decorations in the stores. I know that drives you crazy if you're like me because it drives me crazy however when it comes to Christmas cards that's something that I need to get a jump start on because I have a pretty big Christmas list so tonight I am making my first cards of the season I have prepped and made five of them and so there will be six of these that are basically the same and then you know in a little while I'll come up with a different design and make some more so I'm gonna have a variety however I like this card so well that I really could have um, made all of my Christmas cards out of it this year because it's a simple design and it looks great so let's get started the first thing that I have done is I have two pieces of um, paper from the um, Oh Dear collection from Close to My Heart. absolutely love this paper packet. It's very non-traditional Christmas colors, but they're still beautiful. So this is two pieces of that. Now this bottom one is cut at four and a quarter inches wide by three inches tall. This one is cut at four and a quarter inches wide by two and a half inches tall. So the pinks, or I mean the blue on the bottom is um, the larger piece. Now I have another piece of paper here which is just a piece of scratch paper and it's actually cut at about three inches wide by the um, four and a quarter or three inches tall by four and a quarter but I'm just basically using it for a backing and um, that's because we're going to use some of this twine on it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little white scrap here and I am going to put tape around the side whoops, and down the middle in a fairly straight line and then what I'm going to do is I am just going to place them together on that line I am most concerned sorry I went off camera there I am most concerned with lining up the sides so that I don't have overhang it really doesn't matter to me how much of the white goes under each piece I just need something to back it and I'll show you why in just one moment or in a couple minutes. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping. Now for this stamp set, I am using this month's stamp of the month from close to my heart called Yuletide Joy. This is a super fun stamp set. There are four images. Um, two of them, if you have the old um, Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge, which I have, um, you can cut um, with the art philosophy. The other two you cannot. So it depends on what you're doing. The shapes you don't need to cut out, but if you want to cut out shape, then your um, the car Cricut cartridge is best. However, you can still do this if you wanted to fussy cut it and hand cut it. Um, I used both the um, Christmas stocking and the um, star up here. Now there are also three sentiments besides that. There's the sentiment that says Yuletide Joy, Noel, which is the one we're using today, and then let the magic of Christmas warm your heart, which I don't really get into the whole Christmas magic thing, but I do like the rest of the set. So now we have our Noel stamp, and what I'm using here is Versamark. Now, Versamark is clear ink, so um, you do want to be aware that you're going to want to ink up well, and then <laughs> you are going to have to be careful because you're not going to be able to see all of your image. But that's okay as long as you know that you've got plenty of ink. The reason I'm using this clear is because we're going to do some embossing. So I am just going to position my stamp near the top, try to make it as straight as I can, and I'm going to press down and lift up. Okay, so let's move that aside. Now I have an old coffee filter here, and I have some gold embossing powder. Now this embossing powder is very, very old. I don't even know how old, although I am thinking, based on some of the difficulties I've had with this gold embossing powder, Got, embossing powder must get old at some point because this is just not melting like I would have expected it to. I've been a little surprised by that. So I just have um, gone over that with gold. Now you can see what it says. And 
I am going to dump that back in. That's why I use a coffee filter. It's really simple to save my extra embossing powder and set that aside. And then I'm going to pull my heat tool and I am going to um, heat that. Now I am going to pause the video while I'm doing it because it's just a bunch of noise. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the card. Okay, so we have that all embossed there in gold, and it's kind of subtle, but you can definitely still see um, better in person than on camera that it says Noel. So now we are going to take the twine, and again, this came in um, the Oh Dear. It actually came on the Workshop Your Way pack, um, but I'm just using it for the way that I want to use it. And I have to tell you that this that I am doing right now, this is not original idea with me. I learned this idea years ago with um, by watching the My Pink Stamper. And she calls this the cheater method. And it definitely is nice because it saves you a little bit. Plus you don't have to tie a bow, which I am a horrible bow tire. But it just involves taping it on the back. Um, back when I first started doing this, I would take scotch tape and do it. Now I use washi tape just because I have typically have washi tape closer to my drawer or closer to my workspace than I have um, scotch tape. So I just grab a couple of pieces of washi tape and I stick that down just like that. So then we have it in the front. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a card base, which is just a white daisy card base from close to my heart and we are going to adhere those pieces together. Now I did do a little tiny bit of prep work on this particular card before um, just to save some time and as I was designing the card I um, did all of them together. Um, so the, ne the, the next step after this we will work on together. Now I do want to tell you that I use quite a bit of adhesive around that twine because I want to adhere it to stay down and I've noticed that when you do this with twine or anything really when you add that bulk between the layers it's really easy for it to pop up and we don't want it to pop up at any time so we're gonna just go like that okay so there's our card and I actually almost just kind of like it like that but we're gonna do one more um, step I have cut over here um, with my Cricut I have cut out of the um, sea glass paper, I have cut the stocking and I have gold embossed it. And we are going to just stick that right over there. So to stick that on, we're going to use the foam tape just because I want it to have that little extra pop. Plus it'll adhere a little bit better because we are going over the top of that twine. So I've got my foam tape pulled out here and I honestly cannot tell you if this is close to my heart foam tape or not. I believe that it might be but it also just as easily could not be um, because I did have quite a stash of that foam tape that I got on sale. So I am just going to adhere that down and there's the front of our card pretty simple now I could stop there but there's one more step that I want to do and I haven't done this with the other cards that I've made yet I'll go back and do that but I am just going to take my sea glass little pigment pad and I am just going to lightly run it over the edge and then that will just kind of tie everything together and yes I am going right over the twine too and you can see it just kind of you probably wouldn't have noticed that it wasn't there until you see it on, but I'll sh compare the cards together. It's just, I don't go into it big. You could do that with a piece of um, foam as well, makeup wedge or a piece of foam. But it does just give it that little extra finish touch that this one doesn't have. So I made two different varieties. I made the ones that said no L. Um, and I use stars, I use a star and the stocking. And then I also use the mini stamp, Merry Christmas, and this is an M size stamp. It's M1152, mini Christmas holiday, and I did some of those in gold. So there we have our two varieties of cards. Pretty simple, and like I said, if you wanted to make 50 or 100 of these, you could do it pretty quickly um, with this technique. You would, if you were buying a paper pack, you'd run out of paper um, of the right of these two colors, but you could mix and match and use other pieces of paper in the pack as well. So thanks so much for stopping by today, and remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.